Okay, I'm going to start off by saying you'll need Trapco Particular for After Effects, and you'll need to, if you don't already, get this font here. So I've included this in the pack, it's in the description, it's only 20 megabytes, and it has everything you need for this tutorial. So if you haven't got this font already, just install the font I've put in the file. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to the example text uh, Photoshop file here. And it should come up with this. So I'm going to replace this with hello. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm then going to go to file and save as. Now this is quite important. You need to save it as a PNG file. So let's uh, name this hello. I'm going to save it to the desktop. It's hello. Okay, save. There we go. Let's close Photoshop. You can save the Photoshop file if you want to. We're then going to go back into the folder, into here, and then to text modifier. So my, my view is a bit messed up here. Excuse me. Okay, so it's going to come with insert text here. Okay. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to where you saved that PNG file. So hello, right here. And we're going to drag it into the project window. Okay, then drag hello into the time frame. So now we have this here and we want to copy what this use labels layer does so we're going to also click on this go to transform we're going to do control c to copy and we're going to paste it control v of course so there we go it's changed but what we also want to do is we want to change these keyframes to match the use labels layer so what we're going to just highlight them here is a quick tip just move that along so you can align them there we go, it's aligned. So now we don't need these labels uh, later. You can just get rid of that. What we also need to do is we need to turn on blur. So this is going to make it look a bit, a bit more glitchy, as you can see here. So notice how it, it sort of blurs here. Okay, once you've done that, we can go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And we want to click on lossless on the output module and we need to change the format to FLV this is really important okay we're then going to change the channels to RGB plus alpha and then hit okay we're then going to hit render but I've, I've already rendered this video so you're going to hit render you're going to wait a couple of minutes and the file will be available to, to use for you so we can now close this I'm not going to save it and we're going to go to back to the folder and we're going to go to main project. Wait for that to load up. And again, for some reason, my uh, windows are a bit messed up here. So let's change it to that. Okay. So it'll come up with this file. And what I want you to do now is go to where you save the FLV file. So I save mine to the desktop. Where is it? It's just here. Okay. And again, going to drag that to the project window. So here it is. Now this is important. You want to drag that over this use labels layer. Just here. Okay. Now what we need to do is we also need to copy effects and transform. And then we're going to cop, we'll paste this into the FLV file you just made. There we go. So now we can get rid of use labels. We don't need that anymore. Let's have a quick test to see what we've got now. So we've got our hello file. So this is just a test to see if it's actually worked. So it's, it's, it's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, export, add to render queue. And this time, we need to click on lossless again. We're going to keep the format as AVI. Uh, just a warning, the file is around uh, 1.5 gigabytes. It's fairly big, but oh well. Uh, we're then going to check the audio output. 
We also need to change the kilohertz to four, uh, 44,000. Um, this is important, otherwise the audio will be a bit messed up. But then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'll put it to the desktop again if we really want to. So I'm going to call it Hello again. And then we're going to save that. And then hit Render. This will take a bit long to render, but once it's done, I shall resume the video. Okay, so now we're back. You've rendered the video. I want you to go and click on the final render tab on the main project file, just here. And I want you to then drag the file you just made to the project window, if I can find it. So it's just here. Okay, I'm going to drag that there. And then I'm going to drag it back onto the timeline. And I'm then going to drop on the arrow on use labels. And I'm going to copy effects and transform and copy them and paste them onto the file you just made. There we go. You can then get rid of use labels. You don't need that. And what we've just done is we've created a slight camera movement. So this is to make the sort of the scene look a bit more interesting. So I'm just checking to see if it's good. Yep. Uh, and then to finish the project, all we need to do is add this to the render queue just here. And you can make the output module whatever you want. I uh, keep it as lossless just to keep the best quality. And you you do need to click on it actually, and you need to go to audio output. And you're going to click on, for, uh, again, I keep messing it up most, you're going to click on that essentially. And you're going to go on to OK. Uh, output 2, you're going to call it Final Render, Save. And I'm going to hit Render. So this will be really quick because um, we've already rendered the video. It's just adding the slight camera wiggle. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, had a good New Year, because uh, I certainly did. Um, just a bit of one-on-one -on -one chat here whilst we wait for this. Almost done, there we go. Okay, so we can now minimize it, close it. And we can have a look at our final product. So here it is. We can open it with QuickTime. I don't use Windows Media Player with uh, Arc Effects files because it, it's usually quite laggy. Because I, I don't know, you can't handle the file size, whatever. So I'm going to open it with QuickTime Player. Let's have a look at what we've done. So you may not be able to hear the audio. Actually, you won't be able to hear the audio, but I'm going to play it now. Let's have a look at what we've done. Yeah, it's a bit laggy, sorry. But yeah, we can see it's worked. I can hear the audio. Uh, and that's all, really. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, and also, if you want to use this, uh, just ask me. Post a... Uh, sort of give me a link of the video you've used it in. Uh, and please link this video or my channel into the description if you're going to use it in a video. That would be really nice because I spent a lot of time into this project recording it. Uh, there's also a text tutorial in the in the file if we really need it. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.